The shaft it has four surfaces. See, this is the medial surface. This is the dorsal surface or anterior surface. This is the lateral surface. surface. The three surfaces are continuous and smooth. It is covered with a muscle that is called a quadriceps femoris. The posterior surface is rough and, and the posterior part and narrow. The upper part, the lower part, you can see a groove, this is called a vascular groove. For the passage of the femoral artery. On the lateral side, you can see a large depression is there. This is called a lateral supracondylar portion. On the medial side, you can see a small crest is there. This is called a medial supracondylar crest. In the upper part of the shaft, you can see a small projection. This is called a supracondylar This is about the shaft. So if you take the proximal extremity, it has made up of head, supracondylar region. The head will be always medial side. In the center of the head region, you can see a non arcuate area that is called fovea capitis. Lateral to the head, you can see a rough area that is called trochanter major. The trochanter major and minor is connected by a ridge that is called trochanter ridge. So between the head and the trochanter ridge, you can see a depression that is called trochanter ridge. Here, the gemellus muscle is attached. Okay. Right. This is the proximal extremity. If you take a distal extremity, it has cut up of Proclear and anterior side, proclear. Posterior, which are the two condyles. The two condyles are separated by a depression. This was intercondyle fossa. If you take the proclear, see, this is the two ridges. It has two ridges. One is medial ridge, other is lateral ridge. The medial ridge is larger. The lateral ridge is smaller. The the proclear, the petal of it moves up and down. Okay. If you go for the condyles, the intercondylar fossa, the lower part you can see a depression. This is for the cruciate ligament, attachment of the cruciate ligament. Then the medial condyle, on the inner side, you can see the rough area for the attachment of coronary ligaments. Between the lateral condyle and the lateral ridge, this is the lateral ridge, this is the lateral condyle, you can see a depression. This is called as extensor fossa. Extensor fossa. On the medial condyle, medial side, there is an eminent projection. On the lateral condyle, lateral side, there is a de two depressions actually. One will be above, one will be below. No. The above one has been broken, it is not there. The lower one is there. It is for the attachment of collateral ligaments. Okay? If you take the hearts, the difference will be there is a trochanter tertius is 